It's easy to get lost in your family tree as it grows. Who is related to whom? What is the status of your research? Are these people DNA matches? All of those answers can be tracked in Family Tree Maker, especially since you can add more than one color to a person. Select the person you wish to color code in the index or in the family tree. Click the color coding icon in the top right bar in the right corner. Family Tree Maker offers several options from which to choose. This feature is rather exciting. To add color for one person in the row marked current person, click on any one of the four colors. Notice the changes in the tree view and the index. A colored bar appears under the person's name in the tree, and a colored dot appears in the index. But wait, you can add multiple colors to any person in the tree. So they can have up to all eight, but be careful, you don't really want to create more confusion. To remove a color code, click on the color coding icon and uncheck the colors in the row marked current person or click clear all colors, but be careful that will take out all the colors in the database. Family Tree Maker allows you to color direct lines from a specific person. For example, you can choose a person and then color all their ancestors or select another person and choose all their descendants. And we'll do that like so. Start by choosing your home person. It can be anybody on the tree, not necessarily the one marked home. But the person you want to start with, click on the color coding icon. And in this case, we can choose the color all ancestors one color. Let's say red. And notice all of the ancestors are marked red on the tree and also in the index. Let's clear that and let's talk about choosing all ancestors, but the four color option. You have three color palettes to choose from, blue, green, red, and yellow. Now this is the Mary Hill color system where the paternal side is the blue and the green and the maternal side is the red and the yellow. Let's say you don't really like those colors. You have another option, pink, purple, blue, and orange, red, orange, yellow, and green, light blue, dark blue, purple, and pink. And this one is similar to the color coding I recommended for coloring your ancestry DNA matches, using different sides of the color wheel to know paternal from maternal instantly. Choose the palette that makes the most visual sense to you. You can also color code descendants. So in this case, I'm going to click on Robert Long and color code all of his descendants by clicking color code and coming down to descendants and choosing a color that matches. And now we see those in the family tree as well as the children all color coded in the tree like so with the additional other surnames other than Long. I love this option because those who share an ancestral line will have more than one colored dot. The best way to view these dots is in the index. What these multiple dot mean depends entirely on how you use the colors in your tree. We'll talk more about variations in color systems in a little bit, so stick around. Notice those who descend from John and Hannah Moore have the two bluish dots. If they descend from Downing and Angeline, they have two dots and they're going to be pink and purple. And the others have no color dots, meaning they're not descended from those individuals. But as you scroll through, you're going to see if they're descended from all four of these ancestors or just one side versus the other. With the ability to apply multiple colors to your family tree, you can layer meaning into the colored dots and bar lines. The following includes several ideas. Suppose you feel generationally limited by only color coding four great-grandparents. In that case, you can expand the colors to mean your eight great-grandparents, assuming no adoption or other splits in your family tree. Ensure you have no color coding applied to your family tree and if you haven't already, use these sliders until you have a great grandparent. Click on the first one, which will likely be your father's father's father. 
and click on color coding. Then come down to all ancestors, one color. Click on the color and then click include ancestors descendants. And now we're gonna go to the next color. You have many options to choose from. This time I'm going to choose orange and I'll repeat the process all the way through the remaining great grandparents. As you go through and you start applying the colors, if you discover that, in this case, I added blue to Caroline Lane, I did her ancestors and all descendants, and notice Ithamer and Susanna also picked up the blue color. What does that mean? Well, these folks are related in multiple ways. And in Family Tree Maker, you're going to be able to see that, which is pretty nice. Once again, now that we're all done, we're going to see that Adeline Snyder has four colors. She has the green and the dark blue from her parents, but she's also picking up a light blue and a purple from this line as well, which she's intersecting with. Alonzo Comfort has the same, and then you're going to see all of those endogamous or tree collapse taking place in your tree. So this type of color coding is, is pretty neat using the eight great grandparents, including the ancestors, as well as the descendants in that color code. That's a really neat trick to try. To research the tree collapse further, you can clear the colors, shift the home person to focus on this portion of your family tree and recolor the great grandparents. Before we continue, if I've given you value during this video, please click the like button, share this video with others, and leave a comment. These actions signal to YouTube that this content matches the video's title and it's helpful information. Next, you may like the coloring of four great grandparental lines, but you also want to highlight the status of your research. In that case, you'll do the following. First, color code the four grandparental lines using the all four colors option. In this case, we'll do the Mary Hill version. You can also include the descendants if you wish, but then notice we have blue, green, red, and yellow. As I'm researching, let's say Victor, I can add a color code that's separate for just him that's not the red, yellow, green, or blue. So maybe it's pink. Pink means he is validated. Or we can use a different color. Let's say Adeline Snyder. Her research is in progress, so maybe I'll use a light blue. And then John Marr, well, I kind of have a little problem with him, so I'm going to use orange because I don't like the color orange. <laughs> so the research status will be manual as you add it to your tree. But anytime you see somebody, oops, didn't do it that way, <laughs> current person, anytime you see one of those colors, you have to remember what they mean. Anyone in your database with a research status or relationship colors is likely a higher priority person to research. Those using Family Tree Maker to manage a family tree with genetic genealogy research as well might do the following. Once again, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to color code the all ancestors four colors. And in this case, I'm going to do this color combination, but I'm not going to use descendants. Instead, what I'm going to do is if I come in here and find Faye Muriel and I happen to have her DNA, well, I can see that she has these grandparental lines. So she's actually the sister of my grandmother. And if I have her DNA confirmed, then I'll come in here and I will choose green, meaning I've confirmed her DNA. I can use other colors to mean a DNA match. So there's this James Eric. I'm not entirely sure if this match is accurate. So maybe I'll put a yellow, meaning use caution. And then if there's a DNA match, and let's say we started putting somebody in our family tree. Granted, this is 1844, but pretend it was 1944. I'm doing this to protect privacy. But let's say it's just a match and I'm not sure how they're connected to family tree. So this time I'm going to put a red. So anytime I see red, it's a match that I've added the person to my database, but I haven't figured out exactly how they connect in. So once again, we're pretending that it's 1994, not 1884, all to protect privacy. 
If you have a database with several possible answers for a DNA mystery, you can color code those theories after color coding genealogical lines. Many relatives share something in common that you want to highlight. Then you can highlight those items using Family Tree Maker, search filters, or manually adding the colors as you research. You may wish to highlight any of the following. Military, immigrant ancestor, enslaved, native tribes, royalty, same birthplace, birth location. There are various possibilities for color coding in Family Tree Maker. I'm curious, how do you plan on coloring your family tree? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I'm gonna color code the ancestral groups. And this time I'm going to use pink, purple, blue, and orange. So let's say the next thing I want to do is I want to color code for people with a specific vital fact. So I'm going to come down here to filter, click filter in option in the middle of the upper section. And I want vital facts. This one's easy to understand because it focuses on name, sex, birth, marriage, and death. The off facts field is anything you've added to your database. Some of those are the vital facts and some of them are a variety of different things you may have added to your database and you've clicked other, uh, there might be some other options here, spouse court, source citation notes, and things of that nature. We're gonna click on vital facts and we're going to select birth and we're gonna choose place, contains, and we're gonna type in a value. In this case, I'm going to say Kentucky. I'm going to click Okay, and now these are the names of the individuals that were born in Kentucky. Click apply. Now only the names showing in the index meet that criteria. And one by one, you can go through and add a color code for the people who were born in Kentucky. This part is a little bit manual. I haven't found a way to color code all of these people quickly, the ones that are shown, but you can go through and make that designation in addition. So we know that blue is a ancestral line and the red means these guys or these gals are from Kentucky. Thanks for watching. If you're ready for more tutorials on using Family Tree Maker, check out the videos up here.